keep the hens in their little run and pen and we have a rooster that fights a lot that lives with the turkey and two roosters that are out loose because they're impossible to catch. Their new evening routine is to come over the garden fence, which I thought was bird proof, and to scratch up all the mulch. Today we're going to plant white bush scallop gourds, I think gourds, squash, squash probably. They're like the patty pan squash. And we're going to harvest all the stuff that kind of bolted overnight, making room for some new stuff. Good morning. I'm working on my second cup. Let's do this. Well, earlier I took out some bolted, uh, what was it, cauliflower? and broccoli uh it's like all of a sudden boom <clears throat> uh, we had a few hot sunny days and that put those plants into stress because they're really cold um crops and they do great in these um wet uh cloudy, cool days like we've been having. They've been doing awesome, but then they got a little stressed over a little too much sun, I guess, and decided to die or go to seed. So I took some of those out the other day and used that opportunity to, and I, sometimes I'm not on top of it enough to do this, but this, this is my year. Um, when I took those plants out, I then immediately put the white bush scallop squash into those spots. Since, they, since they're a bush, they don't need to grow on a trellis. And, you know, I'm not exactly sure how widespread they will spread, but there's only like three or four plants in that container after I got done. So, I think we'll be okay. And uh, they're just cute little white UFO looking squash. By the way, I've made a few changes this week. I learned some valuable lessons from editing last week. I'm trying to make this, um, I'm trying to streamline the process here. So I'm trying not to have too much sky and brightness behind me because I should know I will be backlit. That will make me dark and bright behind me. And that's weird. So I'm sitting to try to cut that out and uh, a few other tricks I'm gonna try so maybe look look a little different this week but whatever um, so yeah with all, this whole weird uh, year and a half we've had here um, I've been thinking a lot uh, my kids my two oldest will both be in high school this next school year my babies the twins will be in middle school And then uh, I just generally, besides that, feel like it's time for me to move from this chapter I've been in to the next. I'm not exactly sure what that's gonna look like. One of the thoughts I've had is that maybe I'll use this coming school year to substitute a little bit at the elementary school and see if I want to renew my teaching license and go back to teaching. I honestly don't know if I'll have the patience to do it anymore, to be honest. Um, I don't know. Or maybe do some things that are more sustainable here that could bring in more sponsors because that, yeah, because. And now let's tie it in. So 
when I pull out these cold crops that are bolting and pu put in something for the next season of this garden, the early summer into summer crops. Um, it's just a transition from one to the next. It's not an ending of one. It is, you know, I know it feels that way sometimes, but I'm trying to look at it with a uh, sense of excitement and possibility. And I encourage you to do the same. I pulled some of the bolted stuff out. Turns out there's more. I think perhaps the roosters have um, molested my cabbage, so I may pull the cabbage too. And then use it as an opportunity to dream about what goes there next. It's raining. It's raining. Well, we did it. It wasn't perfect, but it's done. Thanks for coming. See you next time. Life is what you make it. Let's get our hands dirty.